It's been a long day, it's been a great day, and we have heard so many wonderful speakers, and I'm so thankful for the opportunity to be here up on the hill in the Cannon Building to share. I was truly inspired last night when we all met uh, each other and we was at the reception and we was talking to each other. I went home and I could not get any sleep. My, my thoughts were just running and running and running. So I actually changed my presentation based on the information we shared yesterday. And in my sleep, someone came to me and just gave me all these new thoughts. I woke up about 5 o'clock and I wrote something down. And that's what I'm going to share with you right now. And what's so wonderful about it is it turned out to be 10 minutes. <coughs> so that was great. A new way to think about health, consciousness, and the quantum effect. First, giving honor to the creator of all living things and to my mother, Shirley Hardy, I greet you in love and kindness. I'm going to share with you for about 10 minutes a new way of thinking about health, consciousness, and quantum effect. For me, and I only speak for me, I am a conscious health care provider. I simply state that health is all about consciousness and healing is a function of that consciousness. Health is a choice. You have the right to choose how to care for your health. Make a choice to take a chance to bury disease thinking. Make a choice to take a chance to step up out of the dark ages of disease care. Make a choice to take a chance to emancipate yourself from medical mental slavery. I'm Dr. Karen Davis, folks. I'm also called Dr. K, and I am the founder of Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day, established April 30th, 2011. I am the host of the international radio show, Health Talk Healthwise, What's Your Illusion, What's Your Reality? Conscious Healthcare Talk with Dr. K and Friends. During my studies from the International Academy of Lithology, Dr. Samuel C. West, known as the father of process healing, shared a note in history from Benjamin Rush. 1746, he was born, he left in 1813. He was a signer of the Declaration of Independence, a Surgeon General and a psychologist to the Continental Army. He stated, unless we put medical freedom in the Constitution, there will come a time when the medicine will organize into an undercover dictatorship to restrict the art of healing to one class of medicine and deny equal privileges to the other. He stated that in the Constitution of the Republic should make a special privilege for mental medical freedom as well as religious freedom. So the founding father of the Continental Journey Army Surgeon General predicted medical tyranny today. I know it feels like that. I know it feels like that community. However, I am here, and we are all here, to remind you that you have the divine right to freedom to choose your health path, your wellness path. I am here to say, for me, I control my consciousness, and I can choose not to participate in disease care as health care. Personally, I did not go to medical Western doctors for health care because I know that they told me that they practice in disease care. So it doesn't make sense for me to go to them to predetermine my health care either. So I don't, and I show this by what I do as a conscious health care practitioner. These things, this thing about diet and what we eat and what not to eat, as a life extension nutritionist, I share the Hallelujah Diet. For the past 20 years, Reverend George Malcolm, as founder of Hallelujah Acres, has educated health ministers in 57 countries and in every state in the United States to share the 85% raw, 15% cooked diet and have thousands of stories of disease reversals and individuals who no longer take prescription drugs because of the change in the diet alone. It's been proven. It's done. We don't need to talk about nutrition anymore. The evidence is there. Let go of the standard American diet. When you visit my website, forsalelife.com, the number four, the word sale, C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E.com, you can learn more. But more importantly, 
I share one more document with my students that has an 86-year history attached with it. 36 years ago, in 1977, based on a 50-year study, the 95th Congress first session released the Dietary Goals for the United States of America, prepared by the staff of the Selected Committee on Nutrition and Human Needs, United States Senate. When I share this document with people, they begin to listen. So I'm thankful for this document. It carries a lot of energy and about understanding of the American diet and health. I'm 56 years old. I'm a saging baby boomer. And I remember seeing in the movies the paper boy shouting, extra, extra, read all about it. Well, the other day, I was sitting, glazing out of the window, looking at nature, and I went into a dream. And I heard the paper boy shouting, extra, extra, read all about it. The government has just announced that they got it all wrong and you don't have diseases. You have cellular malfunctions. You can stop taking all prescribed prescription drugs and all organ removal surgeries. Over-the-counter prescription drugs are now illegal. Ooh. Yay, that's right. You and only you have the power to correct all cellular malfunctions caused by you breaking the laws and principles of health. It is also reported by the government that from the study of epigenetics, your genes just don't turn themselves on and off. And you control this function by the way you think and by the way you eat. When I came back, from this dream, I knew my consciousness was expanding. I created the Relearn, Rethink, and Rewrite Your Personal Health Care Prescription Plan workshops with Dr. K. And people live lives and health is changing by the new information on complementary, alternative, integrative, and quantum health and wellness. Any individual that has corrected their cellular malfunctions from these workshops and is experiencing optimal health will be honored at the third annual Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day celebration in Washington, D.C., April 30th, 2011. During this event, we will honor our sister Sonia Barrett, the author of The Holographic Canvas and The Cosmic Game in 3D Book that I suggest each of you have not read it and not familiar with it, that you get these two books. She is the executive director of the soon-to-be-released documentary titled The Business of Disease. The cure is in the body, not in the business. And Ms. Wanda K. Whitaker, who created the print, Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery, we will honor them this day to fuse in our community your right to choose your wellness path. Now, community, family, and friends. It is time to take back of control of your health care by simply renewing your mind. There is no in-between in 2013. The art of shift, moving from disease care to conscious self-health care. Don't just survive your life, thrive. Come celebrate with us this year. Now, the quantum effect. The link between biology Traditional Chinese medicine has been formally established by Nest Health, and the organization researchers have identified that the human body field is highly structured network of energy and information fields, which acts as a master control system for the physical body. When you make a choice to match with a Nest Health provider, you will experience the quantum effect of self-healing. With Ness ProVision Scan, this little scan right here, and the My Health personal device, this device right here, and Infoceuticals and Nutraceuticals, you can learn more, and I am here to chat with you, and you can experience these devices at the Lutheran Church on Friday at their program there. In closing, I would like to say, 
become a member of Voices for Hope, and you will be glad that you did. So I leave you with this action question. Why would you go to a system of disease care for health care? Are you suffering from electromagnetic sensitivity? Do you even know? Come see me, and I'll let you know. Thank you. Thank you.